Hi, my name is Pop. I'm making a video tutorial in Ubuntu Basics and Spreadsheet Basics showing how to make a multiple choice test using a spreadsheet and I am using LibreOffice Calc. This is video tutorial number two on how to make tests. The first one that I made showed how to make true and false tests and fill in the blank tests and this one is going to be multiple choice. In column A, I've got the answer that you put in. In column G, I've got the correct answer, which you will not see when you take the test. And then here's the question. And then there's going to be four possible answers, C, D, E, and F. Normally, you'd call those A, B, C, and D. But just for the grins of it to correspond with the column headers, I call them C, D, E, and F. It makes no difference. Over here, I'm going to show whether or not you got it right. A 1 would be that you got the answer right, and a 0 would be that you got the answer wrong. And it's going to add them up and then give a percentage of right to wrong. I'm going to open up the next sheet and populate some data, questions, and answers. Column B is questions. And then C, D, E, and F are the four possible answers. And I have not put in the correct answers. And they would go in this column. The test maker would put those in. The test taker puts in the answers here. I'll open up the next sheet. And I've got a couple of them correctly filled out for the right answer. The capital of Germany is Berlin, which is in column D, and the answer is D. 3 times 7 is 21. That's D. I'm going to open up now the next sheet. And the next sheet, I've got a calculation in column H. I went over this before in the prior video. And this calculation puts in either a blank, a 0, or a 1. Blank, if you've got nothing in column A and G. A 0, if you've got the answer wrong and 1 if you've got the answer right. Well, in this case, I've got the answer wrong. It says because there is a correct answer in D, and there's no answer at all in A. Now, down here, it's blank. And that's because G and A are the same, and I did not want to say that this would be right. That's why this is a nested if statement. The nested if statement allows you to... My kitty cat's making noise. What are you doing? Cindy, Cindy, get out of the laundry. Oh my gracious. I can't even make a video. Okay. <sighs> if I get rid of this nested if statement, you'll see what I mean. The nested if statement keeps me from getting a false positive. Because, see, there's nothing in here, and there's nothing in here. Nothing equals nothing, so the computer's going to say, well, he got it right. But I didn't get it right. I hope that's not confusing. I want to show by opening up 
uh, number eight here, what you can do with data forms to make test taking and test making easier. Right now it's arranged in a grid just like a normal spreadsheet, but there is a built-in form. And the form will allow you to make the test, put in the answer, and then later someone can take the test without seeing the correct answer. Right now the way it is, you've got a guy looking at uh, say line three and he puts in D and he can just look over here and see the right answer is D. Of course you could hide that. What I'm going to do right now is temporarily remove these answers and temporarily remove these answers. And first thing I'm going to do is make the test. And I'm going to make the test by grabbing G through, oh let's make it, uh, let's make it uh, six lines here and you can see what I've grabbed. I've got the questions, the four possible answers and then the correct answer. But the correct answer I'm going to be filling in with the data form. So I go to data form and here we've got capital of Germany, my four selections and I'm the test maker and I'm going to put in the answer D. Now you might think to go to next record. If you do that it skips what you just put in and ignores it. Instead go to new. 3 times 7 is 21 and that's D. New. Where's Timbuktu? I think that's a D new. What's biggest? A gallon. E. And what's the biggest? A square mile. Sorry for those of you who are in Europe. You wouldn't know the difference between a square mile and a square kilometer or a hectare. New. Okay, I'm done. Close. And now I've populated this column. All right, now I'm going to take the test. So I'm going to grab a different grid. I'm going to grab F through and then I'm going to, I hope this works. I've been having trouble with the form. No, it works. Okay. Now I can take the test. What's the capital of Germany? Uh, Berlin. D. Well, it used to be Bonn. I'm going to put in a wrong answer. New. Uh, 3 times 7 is 21. D. New. Where's Timbuktu? I'm going to say Nigeria. New. What's the biggest? A gallon. Square mile, E. One more time. What's the area of a sphere? Hmm. The area. Well, if you look at the moon, it's pi r square when you see the disk, and it's actually 4 pi r square, D. Okay. Close. Let's see how I did. Uh, capital of Germany. I got it wrong. That's because I put in C, which is Bonn. And the answer is D, Berlin. So it gave me zero. Three times seven is 21. D, correct. Timbuktu, I said Nigeria. That's wrong. The answer is D. It's somewhere in Africa. What's the biggest? A gallon? What is the biggest? A square mile. Now look what happened here on this last one. I selected area of a sphere and I put in D. But the test maker had not put in the correct answer so it still says zero. Well or nothing. But if I do fill this in D I get it right. So I got 67% right and that's all I got. 
I certainly hope that you enjoyed this. My name is Pop. I have a whole bunch of YouTube videos in Ubuntu Basics and Spreadsheet Basics and on other topics. And I would like to hear from you and I thank you very much.